Today I want to introduce you to Muriel Rama, a collection of many thousand landscapes. If you don't know anything about this, hang in there because I think you're going to be pleased. I love this. Okay, this is a classic Muriel Rama. Okay, this one was created like in the late 1800s, mid 1800s. Uh, you can still get this one. There are a couple of other Muriel Ramas out there, uh, modern ones. This one has 16 panels. Uh, you can find some with 20. You know, they have like maybe a sci-fi theme or etc. But these are very cool. And if you don't know anything about these in a moment, we're going down to the table and I'm going to show you how you can play uh, with these panels in here. But first, I wanted to read uh, some information off the back here, which will give you uh, some historical context. So it's called Muriel Rama, a collection of many thousand landscapes, and the story is yours for the making. In the, in the front here, it says mix and swap the 16 panels to create your own vintage scenes. This is, this is cool. This is very cool. Through the idyllic countryside, across the moors of yore, amid the gothic ruins, and down a cottage lane, no matter how you place the panels from this classic Muriel Rama, and this is a classic one, uh, a seamless scene awaits. Because that's the idea with these panels. No matter how you fit these panels, you create a seamless scene. In the mid-1820s, enterprising London publisher Samuel Lay enlisted John Heapside Clark to create this 16-panel Miriorama. Clark painted scenes representing no particular place, but instantly understood as British. As you can see there, right? Just get this British sort of feel to it. This very cool. Uh, the result was a sophisticated toy that brought delight to ladies and gentlemen in drawing rooms throughout Britain. Thanks to a copy of the original that resides at the Huntington Library Art Collections and Botanical Gardens, this antique is back. And let's go to the table. I want to show it to you. So here's the Miriorama, a collection of many thousand landscapes. This one designed by Mr. Clark. Uh, still available, if I'm not mistaken. You can get this exact one. And uh, here are the panels. This comes with, uh, you know, panels. Some of these uh, on the market, there's some modern ones. They, uh, they're cards. Well, let's flip these over. And uh, here they are. So you have 16 uh, different panels. If you have the table space, because these are quite big, you can just mix them up and line them up however you want. Um, some people have used these as, um, <laughs> I've seen these used as oracles, uh, a storytelling game, you know, just a meditative tool, you know, you just play around and amuse yourself with this uh, very, very uh, cool item. And this one, a vintage one. So let me uh, just get some random panels here, let's see how many I can fit here. Let's fit these five here. And this is what you do, right? And again, if you have the table space, because these are quite big, you can just lay them all out, all 16. And then, you know, from left to right, you know, you just look at your beautiful uh, scenery. So here uh, you have uh, this guy here fishing. You got the little, little village here. And you have this uh, castle ruins. Right? You have the lighthouse with some people there and there's a little event going on there. So this is just so cool, it's so beautiful. And any of these is completely interchangeable, right? So if I just grab any one of these and I don't know, put it here, uh, it's always gonna match, right? So it's almost like you got this one guy fishing here and very quiet, little town with the ruins there and then on the other side you got this uh, this family here uh, the little little cookout so again I can just take any any one of these and put it over here and we have a different uh, there's some sheep there a couple of gentlemen discussing things maybe these two guys here are talking about this guy who's over there fishing maybe that guy's supposed to be over here talking to these guys right and look there's a guy up here I just noticed that <laughs> so um, maybe that guy is looking for this guy 
because uh, these three, these four guys need to be over here talking. Anyway, you could just go on and on, right? So I grab another one, maybe put it here. Let me see if I can squeeze a fifth, one, uh, sixth one here because I got five of these panels. Just grab one at random, pop it over here. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I, I just love playing with this Miriorama. Um, and this one was painted in the mid 1820s, right? So it's a vintage one. There it is. Look at that. So cool. I mean, so, so beautiful. And in my opinion, so interesting to play with. There you have it. Miriorama. Enjoy the scenery there for a sec. Here, let's, uh, Let's put some other random ones on top here, so we can get another another scene going. And there and there you have another another scene, right? Look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? And here's an interesting thing about this. If you want to remember, you just these are numbered, right? So you just write these numbers down: 1, 11, 2, 10, 7, and 5. And you can, you know, you write those numbers down. You can get back to that scene, you know, because otherwise you have to have a really good photographic memory to remember uh, where everything went. But uh, if you write these numbers down, then you know how to get back to this exact scene, and it's just wonderful. Let's see what else we can do here. there you have it, Miriorama. Very neat, very cool. This sort of stuff blows your hair back, certainly does mine. I mean, look at that. Go get one. 